Okay, so like these are the, the hours that were open. So that means that even though these are the hours that we post, we're still working after these hours. <laughs> but this is the hours that you can come by, you can call us. So this is central time. Some of you call us apparently on some other time zone and you wonder why we're not answering the phone. Central time. If you call during these hours, we'll answer the phone. You know, when the camera's kind of at an angle, things look intense and cool. <laughs> you know, a lot of people ask us about feeding bees and they wonder how they're supposed to feed their bees, whether they feed them hard sugar candy or did they feed them some uh, liquid sugar? And then what kind of feeders do people use? That's a big question, a big question. And I also know that YouTube videos need to go fast. So today I'm gonna to really go fast and try to explain uh, very briefly what sort of feeders that you use, when you're supposed to use them, and what, how do you mix that sugar water? I'm wearing these blue gloves because I don't like my hands to be sticky. Use one-to-one -one sugar water uh, in the spring and early summer. And then in the fall, use two-to-one, two parts sugar, one part water, and the reason that is, one-to-one -one stimulates brood buildup because it's a lot like nectar is. And then two-to-one is more heavier sugar concentration and it allows the bees to pack more of that mixture, that, that volume into the hive for actual honey production to store it for winter. They don't have to dry it down so much. You get my point. Feeders, we have two entrance feeders. There's feeders of different styles, that's all they are. And then we have our Burns Bees feeding system. And then we have a frame feeder. And then we have a winter bee kind. So I'm gonna walk you through uh, when to use these. And, and, and also, oh, by the way, we've got these hives ready for pickup. So whoever day is, I guess that's the last name, your hive was featured on a YouTube video, and as well as Hawks and Wilson and so on, but cool. So you can say your hive has been on television. So let me take you first through the process of mixing the sugar water, okay? Okay, for feeding bees, we're gonna use a small mouth canning jar. This is for entrance feeders only, and top feeders later, I'll demonstrate this, but let's talk about entrance feeders. Entrance feeders, uh, you can use any size jar. These lids are made for the small mouth jar, which is almost three inches. Uh, and then you uh, just attach it. They have little holes in them. And uh, you can see that the sugar water goes in here and when it fills up, it creates a vacuum so that it barely bubbles up and then the bees can drink the sugar water, eat the sugar water, and it doesn't drip out, okay? So if you, if you buy the lids from us, don't, don't freak out and think all this is gonna drain out. Now, if you don't have your lid on tight, it might do that because you'll allow air bubbles up, but the vacuum needs to be sealed good and you'll be fine. One-to-one -one sugar water is to be used in the spring and only in the early summer. You take one part sugar and add it to one part water to make sugar water. Um, a lot of people say by weight, by volume, by what? You know what, water weighs almost the same as sugar does, so don't worry about it. If I'm making one-to-one, -one, I'll add, you know, one part sugar, like that, and then I'll add, I'll get my water from my sink um, as hot as I can get it out of my hot water heater. I don't feel there's a need to boil it. You can if you want to. That's pretty warm, not bad. So we've placed our sugar, one part sugar. Look at this. This is one, this is the other part water. So now we have one to one. Then you just stir it up and sometimes you have to let it sit and come back and stir it again. You can alleviate this by getting your water hotter and then that will help the sugar dissolve a lot more. That's how you make one-to-one -one sugar water. If you wanna make two-to-one sugar water like in the fall for fall feeding, then you just simply use two parts sugar 
and only one part water. It makes a very syrupy, sticky uh, feed solution. Okay, so here I am at the shooting range to do a little practicing today. And uh, a lot of people here. It doesn't look good to see this many cars here because it might mean that I have to wait a long time to get a lane. Oh, there's my buddy Bill Seidel's car. There's a place right here at the front, I think. It's trying to make a spot right here. So the reason that I'm coming in and, and practicing shooting today is because uh, I'm a competitive shooter. And on uh, Monday, coming up Monday, we're in our second round of playoffs. And I've, I've got to practice, kind of get some time in, get better at it. Let's go inside. Uh, the bad thing about going shooting is that when you get here, you can't take the camera inside because they think you're going to film something and I have to turn the camera off now. Okay, got done shooting and uh, I did a little bit better. Looking forward to Monday night so I can try to do a good job for my team. I saw some of my team members there and uh, I'll keep you posted on how well we do. Picture of a bee smashing into the center of the target. Bee the bullet.